Okay, this right here is to help you uh, use FeedBurner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you real quick how to use FeedBurner with Fit Penguin if this is not working. It's really uh, pretty quick and easy to do. And I do this all the time, and I, I really haven't even thought about how hard it is because it's about two steps and you're done. So let me show you how to do it. Grab a video. And I just uploaded, this is one of my Minion videos, so I'm going to hit Sarah Collins Slideshow. Pause it, grab the video, just do the normal Vid Penguin stuff. And I'm not, I'm not even going to spin it right now. So I'm going to log into Vid Penguin. And I'm going to hit Ping. And go through the variations, preview, and because I'm going to do this as a demo, I'm not going to spin anything right now. And I'm just going to name it here, and name it here, and hit save and ping. Okay, the internal posted, the external to feed burner failed, and we're, we're doing it twice now. What you would do is just come over here and resend it to FeedBurner. But for some reason, FeedBurner has changed all their coding, so we're having to rewrite a lot of code to make this happen. But we're going to do something really special with Blogger, uh, especially in version 2, you're going to be really excited about. It. But for right now, is we still need a FeedBurner. So here's what you do. Go over here, grab this right up here. That's your internal feed. And we create this so that we can feed the feed burner. Uh, then we're going to go over to feed burner, go all the way down to the bottom, <coughs> post it in there, and here we go. And if you have to, you can change the title of your feed right here if it's a duplicate for some reason. Hit next, and there's your feed. Because I don't have a very big description, that's what it looks like. So you'll hit Control C, and then you can come back and I'll show you the trick that you do with it. Just go into your indexers, and you haven't even hit your indexer yet after you ran, ran it. So I'm gonna send it to all my indexers. I'm just gonna come down here and hit Submit. Now what I've done is just exactly what VidPenguin was doing when it had the, the, the correct feed burner. Now I'll give you a little tip too. When you're using your own feed in your own Google Anal uh, Google aged account, you're going to get a higher link juice value because you're using one with a lot of feeds and a lot of page authority with your Google account. So sometimes it's better just to go ahead and run a separate feed burner straight from your own Google account. Even if the feed burner is working correctly, like you'll see it down here, you could do a second feed burner with your own Gmail account. We use a uh, virtual terminal with several Gmail accounts, and right now uh, the communication between our virtual terminal and feed burner is not working, but it's not working on several different programs that we're testing. So that's the easy way of how, how to do it. You simply grab your internal feed right here, Hit Control C, go over to Feed Burner, and then you would just scroll down to the very bottom and paste it in there. And that's how easy it is. Now, you know, you're Vid Penguins and you're professional video marketers. What if I showed you, you already have a tool, hopefully, if you bought RSS Masher already before our official launch. Okay. So what I would do is come over to RSS Master, create a mash, grab this feed right here, Sarah Collins from Slideshow from Hawaii. Grab that. And I'm going to come over to RSS Master. Drop it in as an external feed right here. And then come over. Oop. Got to do this. I added it. Come over to settings. And we're going to copy Sarah Collins. 
I'm also going to copy it down here. And now I'm going to put some hooks in there. If you remember, this, this is our money hook. This is the whole reason for having RSS Master. You can create uh, your, your feeds and you can mash them together with other tools, but our, we feel like this is the easiest way of doing it. But nobody has the hook, the money hook. So let's show you on RSS Masher. Hopefully y'all have this already on your computer. So I'm gonna go by vidpenguin.com. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create the money link. Oops. I actually wanna form a correct URL. Okay, and then would Okay, so Sarah Collins, and, and probably I won't get a lot of subscribers on it, but that feed, if I promote it correctly, I'm going to have a lot of people maybe looking at the feed. And so what I'm going to do is make sure that I have my money hooks in there. Uh, actually, I need the whole, whole thing here. And put a link in there. Okay, so I've got my money hooks in here. And it's just a single feed, so I don't need anything outside that single feed. I'm going to hit preview. And there's our money hooks. Now, very, very important here. See this green button that says save? If you don't hit save, it's not going to save it. Okay, we are ready to go. I'm going to go back to dashboard, grab my feed. And that's an internal feed that we create. <coughs> Go back to my feeds over here, paste it in, and hit next. Sarah Collins, and I'll hit next here. And let's take a look at what it looks like. <gasps> oh my gosh, I got money hooks in here. Money hooks on every one of my feeds. I get real excited when I see that. So again, we could take this feed here and let's go back to VidPenguin and I'm gonna hit my indexers. Now, you don't have to re-index everything if you don't want to. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to use this for anything that you wanna do. I just deleted all those, so I'm not gonna hit it again with an indexer. I'm just going to submit it one time, just that single feed. So why not use your indexers like they're supposed to be used and take advantage of our marketing agency account with Link Processor. Just run any feed you want, and it could be a page, it could, it could be your own website. You could put anything you want in our indexers and run it through. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And what I showed you was I showed you how to create, take our internal feed, go to feed burner and how to use our RSS masher with the money hooks and going into feed burners. So let's have some fun. Let's create some feed burners and hopefully we'll get this issue resolved so it does it automatically within a day or so. Our programmer is working feverishly on it right now. So if you have any questions, just um, submit them on Facebook or go into our training site and ask questions. Or if you have a specific question, go to support at vidpenguin.com. This is Damon Nelson. Thanks for watching.